Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm participating in the Unusual Pumpkins DIY Challenge. This challenge is hosted by Tammy over at Happiness Created and also Jackie at Creating in Mimi's World DIY number one, Pinecone Pumpkin. I had this pumpkin from Dollar Tree and I took some plastic wrap and I covered the whole top of it. Cut that off. Then I took some aluminum foil and I covered that. And the reason why I did this was because I was making a mold. One of my friends, John Cousins, showed me how to do the mold part. And I started gluing on with hot glue pieces of pine cone. And I would just cut off each little piece of pine cone and glue it on. It did take quite a while to glue all of the pieces on. And I was just going all around the whole mold. Now the pine cone pieces kind of stick up on a regular pine cone, but I decided to put them the down way. I really like this look and thought it made the pumpkin look very rustic. Once I got to the top of the pumpkin, I decided I would go around with the pine cone pieces till I got to the stem. And then I took a piece of this grapevine wreath, cut it down and glued it on the top for the stem. Then I removed the Dollar Tree pumpkin from the inside of the aluminum foil along with the plastic and just curved the aluminum foil on the bottom inward and here's my pumpkin all finished and I think it's unusual don't you? DIY number two Q-tip pumpkin light. So I had all these Q-tips and I thought, hey, maybe I could make a nice white pumpkin out of it. So I took them all and I placed them in an octagon shape. Now I got this idea from my friend Billy Burt over at the Messy Scroller. Now originally... I was going to build up from the eight sides and then go in smaller and smaller. I made a few of these forms and once I had them all, I couldn't align them properly. But after playing around with them for a bit, I started putting them inside each other. And I really liked how that was looking. So once I decided how I wanted it, I just used hot glue to glue them together. And I was thinking, this could make a cool spider at Halloween, too. You could use those forms as legs. I did end up cutting and adjusting a couple of the forms because they were either too big or it just didn't fit right. 
Here it is so far. Then I added more Q-tips all in between the two forms going all the way up. just to give it more of a pumpkin shape. And I continued this all the way around the pumpkin. So here I'm just making some adjustments because I didn't think that it sat well as I was going up with the Q-tips. There were pieces that were sticking out so I'm just fixing that up. And then I re-glued it. So here is how it looks so far. And I'm just adding more and more Q-tips. Now this project was pretty time consuming. Took me a couple of days to complete it. And a few outfit changes, of course. The pumpkin needed a stem, so I just took one of those pieces that I had cut off and I bent that in half and then I glued it to the top. I did have to hold on to it a bit for the glue to dry and I also blew on it as well. Then I just continued on adding more Q-tips just to finish it up. Now I did leave a hole in the bottom because I planned on putting a candle in there or some kind of light. But the top I totally covered all with Q-tips. Once it was completely covered, I decided to put something inside, some kind of light. Now I did try fairy lights, and I like them best. And I got this set from Dollar Tree. So I just pushed them in the bottom, and I wrapped them around the stem at the top so I kind of threaded it through the q-tips on the inside and once I got it through I wrapped it around the stem and then I pushed in all of the rest of the vine I added a leaf as well. And then I added another pack of those vine fairy lights inside just to make it look fuller. And I thought it was really cute. And here's my pumpkin all ready for fall. 
I absolutely adore it. And here's what it looks like with the lights off. It is unusual. DIY number three, deconstructed fan pumpkin. In the summer, I got a couple of these fans from Dollar Tree and I thought, hey, this looks pretty much like a pumpkin. So I took a screwdriver and I unscrewed the two ends to take off the base. Once I did that, I had to take out the fan part as well. Using orange paint, I painted the whole thing orange. Just using this makeup sponge. And I did let it dry overnight. It took a lot of paint and it was really messy. At first I was just painting the outside, but then I thought the inside's purple, I better paint that too. And I'm pretty impatient, so I just took it apart while it was wet. And here it is. Once that was done, I needed a stem, so I thought I'd use a piece of the base. And I just cut that off, and I painted it green. I'm really loving this paint from Dollar Tree, the green one. I found that it painted on really thick and I didn't have to give it a second coat. Once the stem was ready, I just used hot glue and I stuck it on. And here it is here so far. I added a leaf and a little piece of jute twine and my pumpkin was perfectly done. It's unusual too. I want to thank you all for watching and make sure that you subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell, and give me a thumbs up. Be sure to check out Happiness Created and Crafting in Mimi's World, links in my description box, as well as the playlist for this wonderfully unusual pumpkins challenge. Please share my video, it really helps me out. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.